Alright, well anyway. <clears throat> Proof positive that I'm back and resetted. No pepper coins gathered. For a true 100%. That is a about as good as it gets. All three twin blasters. Only bomb is on Eladard though. I'm not sure I can take this. Um, I'm gonna try. But if that cannon betrayer shoots out a second wave, then I'm screwed. We're gonna give it a shot. I've I've honestly never seen all three twin blasters line up like this. Let's go. Good luck. Hellbirds shouldn't be an issue if I can hit them. Thank you, and thank you. Not bad. 0.7. Could have been a little better, but honestly, not bad. Also, it's the first fight of the game. That's not a choke point. Alright. I'm going to do Venom with bombs. Okay. Perfect. Twin blaster me. Twin blaster. Where's the coin? Where's the coin? There's the coin. Snagged. That was amazing. That was perfect. Alright, so I got the coin, which means. Should this run fail, I need to full reset. Also, that was perfect, and then I did that. <laughs> that was not perfect. Missed the suction of the core. I figured I was gonna get slammed for that. All right, fire clip. Here we go. I ah, I didn't get the barrel roll to put out the fire. I honestly believe that just barreling through the fire and barrel rolling saves enough time on lag to be worth it before hitting the switch. Of course, the counter to that is you're just going straight back through the fire. Killing with Sky is useless because he just respawns. Got him. Perfect. That timing is always extremely tricky. Um, if he's not fully spawned, then the bomb won't kill him. And then can't spare another bomb, and it's awful. He takes forever to kill without a bomb. Normally a bomb right here. I am not... I'm... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pick up the spread. I'm gonna increment the counter. Spread. Shield. Every time I see S, I think of the Contra. And it's not from Contra. That was an extremely good core. Um, this means that I am going to have not bombs for Venom. And there's another wall popper room like the one that I bombed in here in Venom. And that might prove tricky. Might prove not good. Um, 39 seconds behind. However, that on this current split, 
Uh, I have a fighter group and honor plan two points. I did start with Eldar on my current 4003 run. Interestingly enough, that much is the same. Alright, here we go. Uh, this coin is behind the core. Let's not get hung up there. Oh. That's interesting. One cycle, one cycle, cycle. I'm never gonna say that again. All right, so no items to increment in any counters. That kind of sucks. I was really hoping for bombs. <laughs> um, however, that was a one cycle, and that does not happen often. Um, it's often impossible if they don't spawn in the correct spots. So that was neat. That was not quite the best core fight, but it wasn't horrible. Also, getting the one cycle saved more time than the core fight was bad. The one cycle saved more time than the core fight being bad lost. How's that? Now, my fear is Venom. Yeah, look at that gold split. Boom. I am going to blitz Comantis this time. Because I think part of killing Comantis quickly is just getting there before the little guy spawn. Done. I'm gonna grab this to increment the counter. Blasters. That was a little awkward. Blasters. This shroom, man, gives me trouble every time. Because it doesn't show up on the map, so it's harder to judge distance for it. I also usually push up in the other direction. But I think it's worth, if you start this level with Twin Blasters already, I think it is worth... Oh, I could have just walked backwards, huh? Oh well. Did the defense system destroy the target? Alright, here's the moment of truth. Ideal, but not absolutely horrible. Done worse. And we're gonna try the new strap since I have type between blasters. Let's see how that goes. And honestly, I think I had to do that bombless if I wanted to keep this run alive. I just needed to increment the item counter more. Unfortunately. That's the way this run goes sometimes. There's one. Uh-oh. Nope. That sucks. That was actually not that bad. So I got the new strat on the first one. The second one, I two cycled. The third one, I got the old strat on. Done worse. Done much, 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 much worse. Like, taking that head was much, much worse. Um, yeah. I'm not 
I'm not feeling too bad about this. Granted, I've said that before. Alright, so I need to switch to me uh, to Faye. And this is another one where I can increment the counter if I feel so inclined. Do I feel inclined? I don't think fame matters as much. As getting that first try! Yes! Okay, that was great. Yeah, I let it cycle a couple of times, but man. <laughs> first freaking try, that's um, awesome. I am going to come at the counter. This is going to burn a couple extra seconds. See if I don't screw this one up. I screwed this one up. Oh no! Oh no, I had it! Well, now I'm just gonna go and hope for the best. Yeah. The best happened. <laughs> Normally, I would try to, you know, ensure that I got the right one, but. This is a record attempt, I haven't got time for that. There ain't no safety strats here. Like, you know, incrementing the counter that I did. <laughs> Oops. Look at that. That's exactly what I wanted. Well, I mean, I would have also accepted Twin Blasters, but that's one of the two things that I wanted. And... Is that Twin Blasters? Oh my god, that's Twin Blasters. The two things that I wanted. Alright. Alright, so I'm having a little trouble processing. I got the two best things possible out of that room. Um, wow. So I have to take down... Well, now I have extra bombs. Now I guess it wouldn't matter if... The Cannon Betrayer shot to, which it did not. Alright, so I'm taking Faye in here because Faye needs a teal. Me who doesn't, and the can of Betrayer, and this one's very obvious. Did I just say the can of Betrayer and this one's very obvious? The pepper coin in this can of Betrayer is very obvious. Right there. Those are more bombs. Gonna toss that bomb right here. Gonna blow up that wall crawler. Cause I can. This is great! Actually, what have I better off using the bomb here? Oh, well. Still not complaining. That was a perfect core. 
That maybe I wouldn't have been better off using the bomb there because that was literally a perfect war. I know Venom was bad, but it wasn't that bad. Why are, why are my splits all jacked? Did I split wrongly somewhere? Oh god, Brain Spoiler came out. That is unfortunate. That is ex That was dumb. Straight up, that was dumb. Worst timing of Brain Spoiler. Very good spo Brain Spoiler kill. <laughs> That was close. Almost went into this with Miu. We did not have bombs. And boy howdy. But that had been a bad idea. So I lost some time on that switch. <laughs> All things considered, I'm really not complaining. I'm going to increment the, this counter, and then I don't think we're going to collect another bomb outside of... Well, we're not going to increment the counter again. things a little out of order because I wanted to make sure I got the command without dying. Normally I would land on this first, but I was afraid whoa, that was going to happen. And that would have killed me. So, there's that. Are you Select button. True final boss. This is bad. This is very bad. So yes, the select button is the... I have seven bombs, what am I going to do? One, two, Accidentally hitting pause. Alright, so Night Knack is a big old meanie. Nice. But I took down actually pretty nicely. Usually he's a lot more complicated than that. Glad I did not use a bomb on him. Alright, so these cores, protected by four little guys in the corners, you gotta take out first a bomb, we'll kill all of them at once. Uh, turn around, throw a bomb at the wall, it'll instantly detonate, as opposed to having to wait a couple of seconds and then detonating it manually. That was found by Zallard. It also reduces a ton of lag. That was found by Liam Piper. I wonder if I've done the defense platform already on these splits. Because, like, I really feel like I'm doing pretty good here. And 
yet. My splits are like way off. I should have been better about that. I knew exactly where he was going to spawn and I did not capitalize on it at all. Oh yeah, this is Leon, already Delgi. Andrew. However you like to call him. Algi? Oh no! I accidentally threw a bomb there. Well, that's not good. We are now putting my extra bombs to the test. Oh, music changed because uh, there's a bunch of damage on Corneria. One, two. I'm just gonna skip the bomb. The extra bomb here. And I'm pretty sure I'm good. Uh, Fortuna has two. One more on Pigma. Three at the end. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. So I'm going to get the extra bomb on Fortuna. And then I will be in super good shape. But the extra bomb on Fortuna isn't that time intensive. It's right at the start. And by the extra bomb, I mean I'm going to get the hearts on Fortuna and then I'm going to collect the bombs on Fortuna after that because incrementing the counter works that way. Collecting any item increases your number of items by one and changes it to what you collect. faster just to dash into that and then boost run away. Tall Kong is one of my favorites because like, hey, there he is. Hey, he's dead. Who cares about what he drops? Let's just go. <laughs> Love it. Could have been a bomb. I would have taken a bomb. But not too... Oh, that's bad. Not too worried about it. So the closer you are to the cores, the less you can fire. Because like, they're taking up the SFX2 chip in the emulation of this nice classic or something. I don't really have a valid answer as to why that happens. I must have had a defense platform on these splits way earlier. I just made up a hole sometime. Granted, Titania is not a slow plan. Mentally, here's the rain spoiler. Shoopy doop bop. <sighs> that is unfortunate yet again. So, type B is really what makes mincemeat of the Star Wolf team, but starting with a bomb makes it so you can usually get them in one pass. That was like 1.2 passes. So, that wasn't ideal, but. It also wasn't bad. They do die to two bombs um, immediately. The only time you really need to use two bombs is against Wolf himself. Because if you don't use two bombs against Wolf, he takes forever. Queen D Ray. I always pronounce this Queen Dre until like last week. When somebody pointed out that that is not a second D, that is no. That was dumb. I.
Okay, so that was me being extremely distracted and missing every swim past this core. That sucked quite a lot. <laughs> um, wow. Alright, so Kit Gunner's out of water. Which is good. Um, he's definitely not what I want to be doing right now. But, I'll take it. His best spawn is when he spawns right next to you when you first come in. However, that's not bad. Also, while I was being supremely distracted and having a conversation with my microphone unit, uh, I got the first pepper coin that was out of bounds. It's the only pepper coin that's out of bounds. It was like the last pepper coin that I ever found um, in the beta. Pretty cool, I think. Well, in hard mode, it's also out of bounds. Um, part of what makes this game great is that on hard, every planet is different than it was on normal. And on an expert, every planet is different than those yet. It's really neat. sucks quite a lot. Alright. Got in before the fire. That's good. No! Oh no! Oh, that was very bad. Um... Okay, so obviously, that guy still exists. Alright, so I got the coin, and somehow the bomb didn't kill everyone. That was my second accidental bomb. Wow. distracted was really bad, <laughs> but I don't think it was that bad. Okay, so this cannon betrayer has a neat little thing where pepper coins here, and in the upper right you can see on the map the enemies. You have to clear all the enemies, normally hidden behind these walls, movable walls, destroyable walls, to open the door. Throw a bomb when they all show up on the mini map, they all die. Getting to that point is a little rough sometimes. I believe it was Zallard that found that pretty good. These types of cores are much more difficult than every other core. And that was perfect, honestly. Um, the, the two guys that pop up out of the pools tend to steal the focus away from the targeting reticle, and that makes it more difficult. But that was extremely good. Unfortunately now, I have to split. I have to fly all the way across the map, and that's less than good. Three bombs. 
just enough. So, even though I'm 40 seconds behind, let's say, I think this is still salvageable. Because, that sucks. Um, I'm, I am I'm employing a new strat that I just found, like, two runs ago. This is my favorite can betrayer. I call, they're called carriers on the map. Um, or battleships, or I don't actually remember what they're called. Anyway, they're called carrier, but yeah, cannon betrayers in the credits of this game. Um, this one's my favorite one because the first wall has this wall popper that pops up out of it. Wall popper that pops out of it. Huh. And that's how you open the wall. And then the next wall, that's a bomb, has a switch. Did I? I accidentally threw another bomb. What in the heck? heck? So anyway, you kill the wall popper, door opens. So you like you go up to the next wall popper, expecting the door to open, or next next wall, expecting a wall popper, and now the switch is behind you. That's how you really do it. That was another perfect core. That was amazing. I'm doing I'm doing pretty okay right now. I think. Space Blade. Could this be a run? Vantron starts far away. So Vantron has this, Hunter Vantron, I guess, uh, has this really neat attack where he grabs you and that's where it would have happened. And if you just hold the brake, he can't do it. And it's great. I love it. <laughs> so that means we switch to Fey for Mirage Dragon. So these fights are taking place in the asteroid belt on the map, which means meteors fly forwards towards you. Well, I guess I got out of the, the belt for Mirage Dragon here. Point two. That's perfect. On normal mode, uh, Mirage Dragon is the only one that shows up here. Um, and you can get a point zero with that. It's really quite great. Um, but he has a smaller health bar, basically, which is what makes that possible on normal. On hard, one shows up. It could be Hunter Fantron, it could be Mirage Dragon, it could be uh, Tektron, it could be Space Blade. And an expert, two of those four show up. Space Blade is nearly a run killer. This uh, 4003 that's on my current splits actually had uh, Space Blade in it. Um, 4003 is not my PB. My PB, which is also the world record, is uh, 3936. But I think, because I was doing so well, I might be in contention for that right now. Even wasting two bombs, which is amazing. I just had really good drops. Alright, so we're going to try for the new strat, and we're going to hope it doesn't ruin a run. Well, we're going to see if it lines up to test the new strat. And we're going to hope it doesn't ruin a run. Because <laughs> I really like it. I think, I think it's very neat. And it could make up for Andros teleports, should I get those. Uh, that's going to be the last bit of RNG in this run. So this split is called Suicide Mission because there are three Peppercoins in a 
Metropolis, the final level. This is the only level that basic layout stays the same throughout the difficulties. There are always two paths, a left and a right, and then they join. Basic layout stays the same. Only a level that stays the same throughout the difficulties. Enemy placement does change, though. And uh, Pepper Coin location also changes. I need to get hit one more time. Okay, so I stalled trying to get hit one more time because I didn't know if I could clip the wall and still get it. But I did! I clipped the wall, I died, and I got the coin. So, how that works is... Um, if you get hit and you have any shields remaining at all, you are left with zero shields remaining. You don't die. So, so if you have a yellow shield and you get hit by a shot that deals 1.5 shields worth of damage, you are left with zero shields um, before you actually die. Um, and the pepper coin heals all damage, and you know, 100% category means you get all the pepper coins. So then you have to suicide because you can only take one pathway in Astropolis. If you go right, the door shuts behind you and seals, and you can't go back and go left and get the coin on the left. So you have to die and take your partner in to get the other coin on the other side. Um, so normally, I would grab that coin, and then suicide on the wall, and then go in with me. Um, I always take Faye in and suicide on the right. Um, and then take Faye, or Miu, into the left side, and then go kill Andros. Uh, and that is because even though Miu and Faye have the same stats, they both are the fastest, they both have the lowest number of shields. Um, they both start with shields, items, uh, the shield item. Cats are subjectively better than dogs, so I always take Mew to the final battle. The coin, the coin, perfect. Uh, on every difficulty, the last coin is right there. On the other difficulties, the other two coins, one on the right, one on the left, are in other locations on the right and left path. Uh, but that one is always in that room. On uh, normal, hard, and expert. Pretty great. Alright, it's going to come down to Andros Teleports at this point. First phase of Andros takes the same amount of damage from literally everything. Twin Blaster Type B, oh jeez. Starting off with the Teleport. Twin Blaster Type B, Single Blaster, Bomb, doesn't matter, Charge Shots, takes the same amount of damage. Second phase of Andros, that is not true for. That was perfect. So two teleports, not ideal. Oh. That's it. That is a new world record. So no space blade, death grab, as I call it. I was the one to find that strat, and it worked out quite well, even with the hesitation, even with getting distracted and on, on on Fortuna and like flying past things, flying past that gate twice. Jeez, it's hard to have a conversation, make decisions <laughs> while speed flying, <laughs> make decisions on what to in. Ugh. That was good. I did it.
RNG was definitely on my side. Two bombs that should not have been thrown. Three bombs that should not have been thrown. But RNG helped out by giving me the extra bombs in the first place. Glad I picked up the extra one on me, a dear. And Venom on a three cycle in the Peppercoin room with Walt Hopper. Three cycle isn't bad for that room. That's a bad room to do without a bomb. So, all told, yeah, it's improvable. I think a sub 38 is possible with perfect RNG. With absolutely perfect RNG. Um, we will see if we play the extra thousand times <laughs> to make that happen. Uh, I do have to go to the end to make sure I have 20 peppercoins um, to make sure that this is an actual 100% valid run. I did get the one in Bernard. Uh, second wave Cannon Betrayer on the right. Um, I call it Bernard. It has two of the rolly tanks. And the Peppercoin is to the right. The spinners, man, that's almost an automatic reset if you encounter them as a fighter group. They are awful. Um, because I, I often forget to get that Peppercoin. Like, if I forget to get a Peppercoin, it's that one. That I forget. <laughs> and... Uh, so it harkens back to my uh, retail days. I was once paged to take care of Bernard in the bathroom, and Bernard turned out to be something far larger than I ever thought could come out of a human. That was a good time. Um, and because of that, I call that Cannon Betrayer Bernard because it's full of shit. Because I keep forgetting that type of point. Alright, so, uh, in the beta, you could skip the credits after halfway through. That was really nice. I missed that. <laughs> Theoretically, I could reset, but I'm not going to do that. This is weird. Real face of Andros. You don't see that in normal or hard. In normal, it's phase one, because you only fight phase one. In hard, it's phase two that you see there. Alright. Moment of truth. Mew and Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz